I have three plugins that you can use on your drums today to make your drums hit much harder. Stay tuned, cause I got something for you. All right, let's get into it. Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video and it is me. They call me Heat. If this is your first time watching the channel or you are new here today, I'm a music producer of over 10 years and on my channel here, I show producers how to make some of the best boom bap hip hop style beats. So if that's something that you like, make sure you give the channel a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications, just so you don't miss any more videos after today, because I would hate for you to miss this greatness. All right, let's get into the video. So I dropped some new samples in the producer crate on Patreon. That sounds like some rock marciano or something he would chop up. Let me uh <laughs> let me keep going though. <laughs> What I did was I took the this loop, made it another, I copied it over here and put another loop, and I had my third loop where I chopped it down, and I only used like the first like two bars of it. Yeah, okay, we got a straight little loop right there, but I think I might even pitch it down instead of going up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and find some drums and I'm gonna show you the three plugins that I like to use on my drums to make them hit harder. So I'm gonna go find like some dope, um, some dope drums real quick. Yeah, okay, I like that snare right there. I like to like hear the snare and like make the groove in my head so that I know how it's gonna sound before I actually lay it down. So we got this here, but I'm gonna turn the sample down just a little bit. Drag this off the grid a little bit. So we got a smooth like snare and we got a little bit of hi-hat going too. So with the snare, what I like to do, I like to use the transient master. So that's one of the three that I like to use. Now I do of course use the parametric EQ, the first one, and then I use this preset called the snare drum enhance. With that snare drum enhance, what it does is it boosts around 390 and then it boosts around 1600, boosts around 11K and, and again, 16k they already set it up i just come in and i turn stuff down you know that i don't really like to be loud that i already know now nah, i'm not rocking with that i know i know i've been using this for too long i know how i want it to sound now it's not a thing of like should i use that preset i use that preset and i tweak that preset which is how you should be using all of your plugins you should be using the presets and then tweaking the presets from there parametric eq um is a good one if you use fl studio but if you don't use FL Studio, you can grab these frequencies here and then insert them into your DAW and then boost, you know, remove, turn it down if, you know, for whatever works for your snare or your drums or whatever. So now without the parametric EQ, it sounds like this. Then after adding the parametric EQ and leaving the presets just how they are, it sounds like this. Oh, 
Oh. Instantly, you can hear a lot of clarity in that snare now compared to what it was before. It didn't like boost it up in volume or make it louder. It's just boosting certain frequencies. That's all this is doing. So that when we put the transient master on it, now the transient master is gonna tame all those good frequencies that we brought out. So now the next plugin that I like to use is the transient master. Now this is the one of the three that I like to use to enhance drums. Parametric EQ, that's just a part of the process. So with the transient master, you got an attack, you got a sustain. The sustain basically is like your fade in and out knob. You turn it left to make it fade out more. You turn it right to make it pop more. That's what the sustain knob will do. And you have this NFL studio called transient processor. So you can check it out if you have the full version of FL. So this is what it's gonna do to my snare now. Now you can barely hear that little air that it had before. But now if I turn the attack up, which helps make it smack, so that makes it hit harder. Oh, no. Yep, so now we got it. And then at the same time, on the mixer as well, it's hitting at right at zero. If I have it set at zero on the mixer volume wise, it's gonna hit right there. It's not gonna go any lower. It's gonna stay right there. So I can just turn it down a little bit, but it's gonna, it's gonna keep that consistent volume of where you're at so if you drop it down to three it's gonna stay at three basically acts as like a limiter so let's go find a kick now i like this one lately i've been using the playlist to make my beats i know y'all been seeing that i've been saying it but this has been like super easy So with this kick here, now I haven't added anything to it just yet, but with this kick here, I like to use what's called by UAD, the Neve 1073 EQ. Basically what this EQ is, it has a gain knob, you know, for your line, your input. It has a high frequency knob. It has a mid frequency knob and a low frequency knob. And then it has like a kind of like a high pass filter on it. So you can, you know, filter out anything that's below 50 uh, hertz, 100 hertz, 160 hertz, or 300 hertz. You can basically take, wipe out all of that out if you need to. If you don't have a UAD uh, interface, which is what I have, that's how you get access to these plugins. There are free versions for you. So don't fret. There are free versions of these plugins that I'm showing you out there. So if you don't have the money to buy it, you can't get access to it, just search free alternative Neve 1073 EQ or something like that. So they have a preset called Huge Kick and this is what it sounds like when I just add just that. It adds so much punch to the kick. Now, of course, I don't leave it like that. Of course, it's causing everything to squash, you know, and I don't like that. I don't want things to be squashed. I want things to be, you know, clear and, and straight to the point. Usually what I, what I do is I'll turn this knob down and I'll start at about five dB. And then sometimes with this knob that's behind it, like the white part that's behind this gray knob, that is essentially your frequency. So you're boosting 60 Hertz with this preset on you're boosting uh, three, three, 3.2 K or uh, kilohertz um, with this EQ um, we're using that preset. So I'll turn it down. I'll be turning it down. I mess with like the frequency settings and things like that. Cause like, again, I don't want it to, you know, go crazy on my mix. So I'll turn it down and it comes out like this. And now it's not causing everything to, to squash. It's just that when that boost is up on the low end, it causes everything to come down when that hits. And some sometimes we like that in Boom Bab, you know, we like that side chain effect. But for this, we don't we we're not side chaining anything, so I don't need that effect. So the Neve 1073 is my second plugin that I use, I go crazy with, right? The third plugin that I use is is essentially like a plugin that all of us should have in our arsenal. It's 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 standard in your DAW probably, but it's just the Parametric EQ 2. Let me show you what I'm talking about though. Now with the Parametric EQ 2, now this plugin here, okay. So with this EQ, it's nothing but a normal graphical EQ, 
or parametric EQ, but it has a graph behind it to kind of show you, you know, what's what's going on. A spectrum graph, I should say. What I do is sometimes when I put it on my kick after using that EQ, um, you can't just stop there because sometimes a lot of kicks will have extra punch or extra frequencies that might need to be taken out. So that's what I use the parametric EQ to for because of the simple fact that it's fast to the point whatever I need is right there in front of me. I don't have to, you know, add too many extra things or nothing like that. I can just literally turn something up and down and I'm good, right? And you can add the 1073 to a snare, a hi-hat, any of that type of stuff because they have presets for everything. But again, use the presets to your advantage, but adjust on the fly. So let me show you something that I usually would do. And then sometimes, you know, some kicks will have that higher frequency. So what I'll do is I'll just cut out some of the higher frequencies here. This beat is kind of dope, actually. It's kind of dope. I didn't expect to make a little banger, but I was like, you know, just want to show off what plugins that I use to make my beats and my drums hit harder and sound much better. So we went over, of course, the the Transient Master, um, the Neve 1073, and then the Parametric EQ2, which are the three essential plugins that I use the most. Let's say I didn't put any effects on my drums and it was just like this. So if you want your drums to stop sounding like this, and you want your drums to sound like this. There's added clarity there. There's added punch there. It, just because of those few plugins that I use. It's literally only three plugins that I use, but I use them across multiple sounds. There you have it. Three plugins that will help you make your drums hit much harder, much stronger, feel much stronger have more clarity, things like that, and they will, you know, cut through the mix, those three plugins is what you need, all right? I hope this helps somebody. I hope this inspires somebody to go create, go create, go cook that boom bap, all right? Take these these tips, these gems that you are receiving in these videos. I know I don't make tutorial style videos and things like that, but I'm dropping gems every time because I'm here for the community. I'm here to help the community, all right? So yeah, so if you like the video today, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe as well. And don't be afraid to turn on all notifications just so you don't miss any more videos in the future. Now, if you are a member of the Patreon, do understand that these sounds are available right now on patreon so go ahead and download these they are ready for you go ahead and grab them up patreon.com slash they call me heat if you are a supporter of the channel all right yeah i'm gonna get up out of here y'all and until next time peace